inspiration, jokes to make you smile. Come relax and chat with Glendora for a while. Spring is coming, spring is coming. Birdies build your nest. Straw and feather weave together. God will do the rest. They have crocuses in Manhattan, folks. Already Tony Riddle told me they have crocuses in Brooklyn. Uh, Amy asked me what a, a crocus looks like. Don't you think it looks like a tulip? And it has petals like a tulip and comes in beautiful colors. Yellow and purple and white and pink. And then in the center, doesn't it have a darling little yellow uh, pistols or stamens or whatever they are? Okay, Amy, let's go through the events. Uh, Comptons? Comptons. Wayne and I are reviewing the article in Comptons Encyclopedia about the Earth. And they write it so nicely. And here I am struggling with uh, the National Geographic. And it's 242 pages. And Compton's is 20 pages. So we're wondering about the Earth, the most beautiful, magnificent Earth. And folks, here we are out here in space in the middle of nowhere, turning around 24 hours of night and day. And there's nobody out here to talk to except, you know, talking to people on Earth. There's nobody off of Earth to talk to. What, what is going on? What are we accomplishing? What is the universe accomplishing? Next. Uh, ne Lisa McGee. Oh, Lisa McGee came to see me yesterday. Uh, Bill Urey coughed out because of the ice. And uh, Phil... Eddie said that he would come, and he never did, and he never called. Uh, and Madeline brought me... Do you know where Friendly's used to be, Amy? Yeah, I know where it, it used to be. Well, you yeah. know there's a place there now called Papa, what is it? Papa Brios. Well, they sent over a potato. They had taken a potato and baked it. Then they carved out all of the potato, mixed it with vegan cheese, and I think it was rice in it. It was delicious to eat the potato skin. Oh, it was good. The spaghetti was no good at all. It, I don't know what it had too much uh, garlic on it or what, but that was no good. Next, Amy. Oh, and I wanted to tell you that this morning at 6 o'clock, right after being here, Lisa McGee went to California, and Amy, she's going to go see the Lion King. Oh, the Lion King? That's nice. Yeah, it's a favorite of yours. And I'm wondering if she was so considerate as to delay, if she's on school vacation, delay her time long enough to cover Glendora from 4 o'clock to 6.30 on Thursday. Was she that kind? I believe she might have been. She is a lovely person. Next, Amy. Uh, Kevin Marr. Kevin Marr says, I love your <coughs> show. Kevin Marr, I love you. Next, Amy. Uh, shop manuals. Oh, I called Henry Johnson II, who has bought the Lincolns, both Lincolns, the 1980 Lincoln Continental Mark VI and the Lincoln 1993 town car. He's bought both of them, and he's going to restore them. And I sent him four shop manuals for the 1993 Lincoln. When I bought the 1993 Lincoln for $18,000 cash, I went overboard and bought these shop manuals, one for the electronic transmission, one for the, uh, uh, I don't mean that, one for the electronics, one for the transmission, one for the engine, and one for something else. Uh, power line. Anyway, and I'm, when he comes and picks up the cars, I'm going to give those to him. I want him to have them. And then, folks, whenever I had the Lincolns repaired in a shop, I always asked for the part that they took out. 
and I took it home and I kept it. And Amy, there's two boxes in the museum, Glendora Franklin Museum for the Preservation of the Pro Se Public Access Newspaper Record. Two boxes, Amy, of Lincoln Parks. Do you remember them? Seeing the seeing it in the in, in the <coughs> index. Yeah. What's that mean? Yes or no? Yes. Uh, next, Amy. Uh, Amy to Massachusetts. Oh, Amy went to Massachusetts yesterday, and saw visited a friend with her sister. Anything eventful happen, Amy? Um. No, the only thing we got to do was visit her friend, and then we went to go do some laundry. Oh, they have a lovely laundry on North Avenue. Yeah. With a great big cactus. A huge cactus, as big as this room. Wow. Did the dogs go? No, the dogs didn't go with us. Why? I don't know. I guess my sister didn't want to oh, take them with her. broke <laughs> their heart. Yeah. Well, they should have had a trip to Massachusetts. What's next, Amy? Uh, Domino Cat, okay? That's Ryder and Iris is the name of the dog. Yeah. A Domino Cat is okay. Okay. Good health. Uh, Joyce, 90? Joyce Baum is 90 years old, and she drives back and forth from Nassau to... New Rochelle, New York, Westchester County, at 90. She drives back and forth every two weeks. Wow. Eight glasses of water Thursday. Eight glasses of water yesterday, folks. Eight. We did it. And boy, that whole elementary canal and the liver and the spleen and, and the kidneys. Boy, do they feel much better. They're all cleaned out. And the urine is white. White and no smell and no odor. Well, okay. <laughs> Next, honey. And six glasses so far today, and it's only 3 o'clock. So we'll get the other two in. Uh, Chamber of Commerce Thursday? Chamber of Commerce in <coughs> Corrington, Connecticut. It's all actually all of northwestern Connecticut, the corner up in the northwest. Uh... Is her name Jill, honey? No. Anyway, she's going to give you a lovely program on what the chamber has been accomplishing and how it started. And she's going to do that over the telephone for you sometime next week. And the Real Estate University, we're going to give you a feature story on that. And she's very, very likable. You're going to like her. And then the uh, school on the green in Litchfield, Connecticut. Right, Amy? Yeah. And then what was that other one that came in? Um, Montessori School? Yeah, the Litchfield Montessori School. That's going to be a good one. I'm so interested in Maria Montessori, who was the first woman MD graduate in this country of Italy, and then she had her own ideas about educating children, and you, those are uh, included now in the Montessori schools, Montessori schools. You remember our friend Patri um, Sandy and her husband, uh, Andrew, are both teachers at the Montessori School here in the Albany area. Next, honey. Uh, Pat Sar Shannon. Pat Sar? Yeah, Shannon. Oh, you remember the um, uh, Bill Yours got halfway here and he went to the gas station to take out his credit card to pay for the gasoline and no credit card. It was back in Saratoga and he's on his way to Nassau. What are you, how are you going to solve that one? How are you going to solve that one? Tell me. So I said, let me talk to the attendant. I told you this. And he said, no, she would get mad at me. I said, let me talk to the attendant. And the attendant was Shannon, and she was very cordial. And she's 
I proposed to her a $50 cash present to you just for trusting me with $40 worth of gas for Bill to get to work here in Nassau. And she did it. And so on his way home that day, this was Monday, January, uh, February 20, he paid her, I gave him the money, he paid her $50 cash for the present for her and $40 for the gasoline. And so I asked Pat, goes to, uh, on its way on Wednesday, and the gas station, Sunoco 7-Eleven, is right next to the on its way, or very close to it. And Pat went there, and sh she thanked Shannon, the woman. Thank you very much, Pat. Let's go, Amy. Uh, salute to TV stations? Oh, yes. And do you have that list? Yes. Would you read it to me? This is a list of some of the people we gave $25 to each because we had too much money. And we had to uh, well, spread see, the wealth. One was Quincy. One was Boston Neighborhood Network. One was uh, Springfield, Massachusetts Focus. And then there was, oh boy, um, I'm trying to remember all the other Pittsfield. ones. Pittsfield. Oh yeah, Pittsfield. Don't you have a list there, honey? No, yeah. all the donations are on your table. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> but I'm just trying to remember the ones that I can remember. <laughs> well, that was very good. I didn't know you were doing those from memory. Good for you. Um, there was Bronx. Yep, BronxNet, Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Yep. Uh, Brooklyn Free Speech TV. Yeah. Uh, Queens, Public yep. Access TV. Yeah. Uh, Atlanta People TV. Yes. Philadelphia Philly Camp. Yep. Uh, and Chicago. Chicago, yeah. Chicago. We, we just got a... Uh, Google, um, what are they? Google who? Notification? No, uh, the Google network that puts out TV programs from the cloud. Oh. <laughs> um, we just got an email from them saying, they used to play the program four times a week. Now they're playing it eight times a week. Uh, and that's it, isn't it, hon? Yep. That's it for that. Then we have jokes. Oh, okay. And the Bible passage. Well, let's start with the jokes, honey. Okay. In the middle of the page, remember. Uh-huh. Just give me the word, and I think I can get the joke. My baby brother is only a year old. And he's been walking for two months? Nine months. Nine months. And the neighbor said he must be tired. <laughs> Next one, sweet. Um, let's see. So you are distantly related to the family yeah. next door? And the policeman asked the little boy, are you related to the family next, boy, next door? And the little boy said, yes. And the policeman said, how? And the boy said, their dog is our dog's brother. What are you doing, Priscilla? I'm writing to Joni. But Priscilla, you know that Joni can't. Let's see. Let's see. Priscilla, you know that you can't write. And Priscilla said, no, but Joni can't read either. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, let's see. I call this a three-course meal. Nah. Grade C. Tell me something of important that did not exist a hundred years ago. You, <laughs> Amy. You didn't exist a hundred years, and you're important. Next one, honey. Paul, I want you to wash before the piano teacher comes. 
I did. Did you wash your ears? <laughs> yes. I washed the one next to her. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <clears throat> Bob said to the hotel doorman, be careful of that... Uh, 18 foot snake? Yeah. And, uh... That box, it contains a 10 foot snake. Okay. He says, I never knew snakes had feet. <laughs> the judge said to the dentist, do you swear to pull the tooth, the whole tooth, and nothing but the tooth? <laughs> okay. Bill said to the store owner, can I try on that blue suit in the window? Oh, the man said to the men's store owner, may I please try on that suit, that navy blue suit in the window? And the store owner said, no, you have to use a dressing room. Eddie said to his five-year-old friend, they're not going to grow bananas any longer. Do you know why, Amy? No. They're long enough now. <laughs> okay. Here's That's a, it? Yeah. Okay, what else you got on your list? Uh, we got reminders, best we can be. Reminders. Oh, first reminder, folks, for all of us. When all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you treat others. Second reminder. We want ourselves and everybody we know to be the best we can be. Third reminder. Uh, sickness and sin can be overcome with prayer and faith. Next, Amy. Uh, the Bible passage? Yeah, do you know it? Can you read it? Matthew six thirty three. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Seek ye first helping others, and all these other things will come to you as well. <clears throat> the vocabulary, vocabulary word is admirable. Yes, we did that. Let me do you another one. Aim is to direct one's endeavors to the accomplishment of a purpose. And you know what purpose you're trying to accomplish, helping others. Next, Amy. Uh, the next one is him. What, dear? A him? Yeah. All people who on earth do dwell, sing to the Lord with a cheerful voice. Him, you shall serve with faith, for tell me before him and rejoice. Good old pilgrim hymn. Uh, the next one is the advertiser. Oh, that's you, Amy. Okay, it says, the advertiser from February 23rd, Thursday, Glendora Vegetarian Club. We are jumping for joy with these recipes we found in a recent issue of American Vegan Magazine. One is potato cabbage filling. Potatoes peeled and diced, two tablespoons of oil, one count green, one onion sliced, diced, three green cabbage chopped and packed, two tablespoons of water, one medium carrot grated, Two tablespoons of or teaspoons prepared mustard, two teaspoons juice from dill pickles, really dill pickles, salt, pepper, and garlic powder to taste. Simmer potatoes in salted water till tender, then drain, mash, and put through a rice ear. Saute onions and cabbage until softened. Add water as needed. Add carrots toward the end of the saute. Combine all ingredients and season to taste. My, no wonder that sounds good. Another one, honey? A uh, prune almond filling. <laughs> one count of pitted prunes. A half a, a half a cup of orange juice. Woo! One half a cup toasted almonds. Mm. One to two tables teaspoons of lemon juice. Mm. One teaspoon of soy sauce. Pinch of ground black pepper. A few drops of hot sauce. Soaked prunes in orange in orange juice for at least 20 minutes, turning the container over occasionally to distribute the orange juice. 
I bet you that one tastes good. Coarsely chop the almonds and all, and add all ingredients together. Yeah. Pulse to a coarse pate. <laughs> yeah. Boy, that one should taste good. <clears throat> What's next, dear? Apple apple butter topping. Yeah. One Granny Smith apple finely diced. A half a cup apple butter. Stir together and season with salt and pepper. Oh. Excellent. You got any jokes? A man walked down the street carrying a darling cocker spaniel puppy. He met a friend and said, What do you think of this puppy I got for my wife? His friend said, That's not a bad trade. Okay, honey, next. An ad in the classified said, Cut glass vase for sale by a lady slightly cracked. <laughs> All right, honey, you better give me just the word, hon. Jokes are very sensitive. Number three is, Did the doctor give you a clean bill of health? No, he won't do that until my check clears. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing says, Google Glendora Folsom. Folsom. F. Frank. O. L. S. Sam. O. M. Mary. Wow. <laughs> Honey, what time is it? How many minutes? Uh, we got 21 minutes and 5 seconds so far. <laughs> okay. Let's finish it up. You also have a visitor, Glenn. Uh, yeah, we gave away $1,300. Wasn't it $1,300? Yes, $1,300. To 16 charities. Wow. We had too much money, and we had to get rid of it. <laughs> uh, uh, next, hon. Let's see. Um, what else do we have on here? We have... Maybe we're out of juice. <laughs> um, you could tell them about the lady that just called Tristan. She says she's looking to see if you need any help. Oh, yeah. She's an employment agency down in New York and New Jersey. Why is she calling us up here in Albany to see if we want any help? We don't want any help. We're full up hope, folks. Yeah. All right. I'll have to fill this, right? Okay. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, dwell in your hearts and minds. A uh, word. Uh, a platus. It's spelled A, F is in Frank, F is in Frank, L A T U S. And it means a divine imparting of knowledge. Amy, have you ever had an inflatus? A divine imparting of knowledge? I think I did once. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. And um, it also means. An overpowering supernatural impulse. Supernatural oh, impulse, wow. Yes. <clears throat> That's interesting to think, you know. <laughs> yes, it is. Because some people say that ghosts yeah. are supernatural. <laughs> yeah. Um, adequate is equal to or commensurate with the task. Isn't that nice? Yes. Uh, and that is, uh, what is it? That is, that, um, uh, fulfills completely the proposed end. That is sufficient, which fills completely the proposed end. These words are really stimulating. You know, you can meditate over this for an hour. Um, okay. Is there anything new with Wayne going on in Wayne? Oh, life? thank you about Wayne. Yes. Wayne's fish tank started to leak, and he just paid $39 for it. So Jeez. he had to take the poor little fish and put him in a substitute bowl, and the poor little fish has to wait eight days for the glue to set in the uh, fish tank. In Jeez. hindsight, I wish I'd given him $38 to go out and buy another new one or something. Wow. Yeah. $38 for a fish tank. That's crazy. And um, he's having a terrible time paying the oil bill for the church. He sent six checks. The checks have all been returned. And the oil bill says we're going to charge you for late payment. Uh, thank you for bringing up Wayne. 
You're welcome. Uh, Archie Dog is fine. He's our great big, uh, what is he, a lab, honey? I think he's part lab, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, how many minutes now, dear? We're at 25. Uh, 25. <clears throat> 25? Yep. Okay. Um, I think one of the best jokes on our board B O A R D, not B O R E D, <laughs> is Sandy, my friend, called up and said, asked me what I would like her to bring me for supper tonight. And as she heard my phone, she heard people in the background with me. And she says, Oh, well, I better bring more than one supper. She says, How many people do you are you anticipating eating tonight? And I said, well, I'm not anticipating eating any people tonight. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, let's see. Another hymn. Uh, I love to tell the story of unseen things of love, of Jesus and his glory. Of Jesus and his love, I love to tell the story, because I know it's true. It satisfies my longing, as nothing else can do. I love to tell the story, will be my theme in glory. The old, 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 old story of Jesus and his love. What time is it now, Amy? Uh, 26 minutes and 38 seconds. Okay. You know what I would love to do for you folks? I would love to get out a Robert Schuller program, The Hour of Power, the evangelical program on television back in the uh, 90s and the teens, and uh, hear the woman sing the Lord's Prayer. Aw. Yeah, I'd love to get that out for you. <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Well, this is it. Amy, I want to thank you ever so much for the good times that we've had today, doing all these good things, and asking for more. And Domino Cat is good. I told you Domino Cat, Domino Cat is all better. And may the peace of God, no, may the God of peace himself, no, may the God of peace sanctify all of us through and through. Amen, amen.